Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, I've been getting a lot of feedback for my last CPU comparison. So, a lot of people like it and all that. So, I decided to make a new one. So, this time we're going to be comparing the i3 to the AMD A10. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> So first we're going to do is I'm going to give my opinions about both CPUs and then I'll show some benchmarks and I'll show some gameplay about how each one does and all that. So let's start with the i3. We're comparing the 2100 Sandy Bridge 3.1 GHz. It's an LGA Saget 1155. It's dual core. It only uses 65 watts, which is really nice. And it has Intel HD Graphics 2000. Alright, so this is a solid CPU. It runs for 120, so it's pretty good for your price. It's dual core with hyper threading, so it would be quad core. But the thing is, most some games that doesn't take care of it because what it is, it's two cores, but then they Windows Windows software will cut each core in half, so it's using a four. So it's using one core to do two things at once. So it's good and bad. And some games don't take advantage of this, so that's one disadvantage right there. Because the AMD one is quad core versus dual core. And with Intel HD Graphics 2000, that is really nothing to be um, celebrating over. It's not that good. You can't, you're not going to be able to play good quality games with that graphic, with that uh, integrated graphics. You're going to need a dedicated graphics card, unlike the AMD option. But the nice thing about this is it's 1155 socket, so if you ever want to upgrade to like an i5 or an i7, it's really easy. You just gotta take the CPU out, buy a new one, put it in there, and then you got a nice little upgrade. It only uses 65 watts, which is really nice, so you don't have to worry about paying an extra so many dollars for your electric bill. So it's nice. It's not gonna overheat or anything. It's really nice. Alright, so next up we got the AMD 810. It's integrated, so it has a GPU and a CPU all combined. So this one has a lot better GPU than the first one we had, the Intel one. So this one is quad core, it's a Trinity series, it's 3.8 GHz with turbo at 4.2 which is really nice. Um, socket is FM2, um, we got 100 watt, 100 watt, uh, that's how much wattage it uses. It's quad core, CPU plus GPU, it's called an APU, and it has AMD Radeon HD 7660D. And those gra that's a pretty good graphics card, it's nice fast and that. And later when I show you the comparison between these two CPUs, you'll actually see the big difference in it. So this does use a little bit more wattage than the Intel option. It uses 100 watts, but it's not that bad. Like, you're not going to be paying an extra so many dollars. This one, it's not. it says it uses more, but it's not really that much more. Another thing is it's quad-core, so it beats a dual-core. So you'll be able to handle games fat better. If you want to do video editing, it'll take advantage of all the cores. Which really helps. And then since this already has a built in GPU, you don't need to buy a $100 or $200 graphics card. It's already integrated in it. It's $129 on Newegg right now. It's cheaper on Amazon, I think, right now. So it's a really good CPU. And it handles almost anything you handle at it. And you'll find out when I show you the benchmarks in that, but it's so good. And it's really good because when you overclock it, because it's unlockable with AMD in that. You can click the button and it'll overclock it to 4.2 gigahertz and then um, turbo will be 4.5 gigahertz. So the clock speed already beats the Intel option too. So my opinion, I like the AMD one, but you make a decision on what you like. Leave a comment on that, what you think. And then okay, now we're going to show you the benchmarks and some gameplay of both options. Alright, so on the blue is AMD A10 and the black is the Intel I had three. Here's some benchmarks of many different tests that we did on the website. And so I was trying out both of these CPUs on my computer. I was playing Left 4 Dead 2, and each one played it. And it was just the it was just a CPU, no graphics card or anything. And the AMD got about 50 frames per second on high settings, and the Intel option got about 30 frames per second on high options. So it just shows you the comparison when you're playing games.
Alright, so that's the end of the video. You make up your mind on which one CPU you like better or which one you have already. And leave a comment on what you think. And if you're not already, hit the big like button and subscribe. See you next time.